What's up, Pan Dudes? Peter Von Panda. I um, just wanted to show you, I was recently on vacation, and one of the the uh, downfalls of going on vacation and using your camera phone for all these pictures is that you're never in them because you can't um, get yourself into a camera. And as you know, on the iPhone, unless you download a third-party app to do uh, a timer on the camera, uh, there's just no way to 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 get yourself in the in the picture. So everyone else is in the picture except for you. <clears throat> and so what I really wanted was a remote shutter button. There are uh, a number of different options to do that, but I ordered this IPJA Bluetooth remote control self-timer um, keychain uh, fob, essentially, that will control the iPhone camera. So it's actually kind of pairs like a Bluetooth keyboard, and as you know, the volume up button will uh, take you uh, release the shutter on the iPhone camera, and so this camera button here will basically just mimic that and take pictures remotely. You say, well, Peter, why don't you just download a, uh, a, a, an app, an independent app that has a, the, um, the a, a timer on it? And then the problem is, I have done that, uh, but the problem is the HDR feature is really either not very good on those apps or they're so slow because they're doing it manually. They don't have the speed of the native iPhone uh, camera app, and so the pictures don't turn out great. So this is a nice uh, option. I have tried this. I'm going to turn it on here, and I'm going to tell you some some of the things to keep in mind as you um, use it. So I've got the iPhone camera up here. I'm going to show you that I have already paired it. It doesn't require any code to pair it. You just have to find, when you go into your Bluetooth settings, you just find the, uh, the remote and um, tap it. You turn it on by pressing this power key right there. It charges with a uh, micro USB, it's a little hard to see there, but a little micro USB port, and it does come with a micro USB cable, so that's kind of nice. You hit, just hit this um, power button, this little light will go blue, and then it shows you whether it's a setup for iOS or Android. I'm not sure, um, the Android uh, keyboard command must be different to fire off uh, the camera, but that's... Um, but you, it's compatible with both. This Bluetooth button is for pairing, so you'd hit that and uh, um, you'll find it as a, an available Bluetooth device in your settings. But once you do that, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, you just hit this camera button right here and boom, 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 it takes photos. Awesome. What I've also done is tried to test how far away you can be. And I have tested now 35 feet, and this has worked. So you can get in your picture, kind of hide this in the palm of your hands. You'll probably want to make sure that you're not uh, burying it to, to cut off that Bluetooth signal. But then just hit it, take some photos. You can take a few um, right in succession. And I've noticed that the, I, the HDR works fine. It's HDR, non-HDR, HDR, non-HDR. So that's all well and good. A couple things that I want to point out here is that it's nice because it's small, it's plastic, and it can fit on your keychain so you've got it instead of carrying around a, a larger Bluetooth remote. Couple problems, um, just to keep in mind, when I open up mine, all there this is is a kind of a thin plastic um, facade that replicates buttons on top of the uh, the sensor pad here. And my uh, this plastic piece had actually peeled up when I opened it up out of the box. So it's on there with some glue. It's not on there really sturdy, so you can actually kind of peel it up with your finger. It's got a little protective cl plastic piece, uh, uh, cellophane on top that I haven't even taken off because I was worried that I might just pull the whole thing off. But uh, keep that in mind. The, you know, the build quality on this is eh, mediocre, but it's got to be kind of made out of plastic, I think, to, to maximize that Bluetooth range. Secondly, this power button is a software power button. So you, if you hold it down, it goes off, tap it once, and it goes on. And I've noticed that um, even just moving around with it, it's easy to hit this power button and turn it on. So I don't know how long the battery lasts. I'm sure it's not a super high um, power consumption device, but I would have actually probably preferred a hardware um, a physical key to power on and off because it's just really easy to power this thing on and I'd be worried that it's dead when you actually need it. Um, that's all that I would uh, criticize uh, about it. It's actually a nice size and this thing is, I can see it being very, very handy. It's got a key ring on it. 
and um, maybe there are some future versions that will be a little slimmer and more durable with those revisions but until then for about 15 or 20 bucks great thing uh, great piece of kit to have when you're on vacation panda out